Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome back to, to the, the channel. channel. <laughs> For those of you that are new here, I'm David. And I'm Mark. And we are the, the Doddles. Doddles. We set sail on Virgin Voyager's Resilient Lady yesterday. Mm, yes, so if you haven't checked out that embarkation vlog, watch it after this one. Yeah, don't click off this one, go watch it after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also ended that one with our, I think we ended it with the party, the pyjama party, which explains why <clears throat> we're both a little hoarse this morning. I think. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but so if we sound croaky, that's why. Yes. We imbibbed. <laughs> you and your imbibbing. <laughs> if you want to see where that started, then it's our wedding anniversary vlog. I just I discovered the word imbibe, which means to drink alcohol. To lubricate oneself. But I like to say imbibbe. <laughs> I feel like that's how Maury Rose would say it from Shit's Creek. <laughs> imbibbe. Yeah. Ooh, David. Ooh, David. Imbibbe. Anyway, <laughs> off topic. <laughs> off topic. Back to topic. We're going to go now for brunch at oh. the wake. We're following our own advice. Yes. So if you haven't watched another of our videos where we give tips about Virgin Voyages, again, the top it. five things that Virgin Voyage pros do that you should do too. Yes. In there, I think it's one that we mentioned that if we were to do a shorter voyage, which we are now doing, mm -hmm. we would do brunch at the wake and razzle dazzle to free up evening meal space for the other restaurants. Yes. So we're doing that. And, and we're off. We're now. off to get some food. <laughs> I'm starving. We're off to see the restaurant. <laughs> so one thing to remember when you're on a Virgin ship, if you're going out somewhere, pop the blue light on, and that just means that they know to come in and tidy up your cabin. Tidy up your muck. <laughs> one day, I want to find a rubber duck because people hide them around the ships and I've never found one and I always look. I don't think it's it makes much me of a virgin thing, is it? I think it's bigger on other cruise line. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, walk down to deck seven. <laughs> so you look like you're sat in like the Big Brother chair. You know, like in the diary. <laughs> Day five in the Big Brother house. <laughs> it does feel very grand. For very grand. One thing we do enjoy about the wake is wait, if you come here and you look up, it's a ceiling full of boobs. Zoom on the boob. Hi, <laughs> Lovely, thank you. You know what's missing from the wake, Marcus? Yeah. Nipple lasers. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> We've just finished in the wake. Yes, had our brunch. Had our brunch. I, I'm going to be honest. We, you know, if you've watched some of our videos, you know we love Virgin. But yes. at the same time, we will always be honest about stuff. Yes. That I was very disappointed by. Yeah. Yes. I, I think as far as cruise ship food goes, I think version is still way ahead. Yes. But I I don't know if it's because we've done, this is our fourth one now, it feels like the quality is dropping. Yeah, so we had, uh, we both ordered The Wake, which is like an Eggs Benedict with crispy pork belly. When we had that on our first ever voyage, it would like blow our minds. It was oh, the pork so, was so tasty good. and it was like really big chunk of pork belly and delicious. But today, the pork belly was, I would say, non-existent. It was like it was just a piece of fried breadcrumbs with yeah. a hint of yeah. pork flavouring. We noticed it last time when we were on Scarlet, we went for brunch at the wake, and we noticed the quality 
wasn't great then either. It had dipped from previous and ones. And we didn't know if it was just a one-off or if it was just a scarlet thing. So we tried it today on Resilient and it was the same. So I don't know, there's just a part of me that thinks, is it a cost-cutting thing? Well, I, hope, hope I do not. hope not. But then, because we had pizzas from the pizza place last night as well, and, they, and they, they weren't as good as they normally were. I don't know. I don't know. And don't get me wrong, it's still like, like we said at the start of this, compared, I mean, compared to the MSC food, it's still fantastic. Yeah. It's just we've seen the quality better previously. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we're going to try the pizza again tonight, aren't we? We are. See, see if it was a one-off or if it's, yes. if they've improved tonight. Yes. Who knows? But we have just docked in a port that I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of. <laughs> we'll put it on the screen <laughs> now. <laughs> so we're not going to get off the ship today. We've docked earlier than planned because we yes. have to move the port. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have a wander around on ship, I think. Might be getting in the hot tub. Maybe get in the hot Maybe tub. Maybe get in the hot tub. A little drinky pink. <laughs> <laughs> a pinky drink. A pinky drinky winky. <laughs> it's a pinky drink. Nice. So we've decided to go to Richard's rooftop and see who's about, and then maybe get in the hot tub. Mm -hmm. So we went up to deck 15 and we found Shelley. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and now we're tagging along to go watch the diva around the world in 80 minutes. around the world in 80 minutes, minutes with the diva although not to be a stickler for the rules or anything but it was actually 60 minutes <laughs> what did you think david it was good i enjoyed it yeah I, I think there were if you if you don't like double entendre and smut <laughs> it's probably first of all why are you watching this and secondly don't go to a drug, show. To a drug show you need to go to a drug show with an open mind yes and just, just, it's a, just have fun. Yes, have fun. it is. Yeah, there was lots of really jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know anyone called Richard? <laughs> What's your for Richard? I hear you cry. <laughs> I'm not saying it because we want to stay monetized. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going now, Marcus? Well, we're actually going back to the room because oh. we're going to a party. We are. In a mega rock star suite. We're going to our good friend Shelley that you met earlier. Oh yes. Is having a party in her suite. In her suite. Uh, it's an 80s themed party, so we must go back now and don our costumes. <laughs> we must. <laughs> they were ordered specially. <laughs> one of us has gone a little bit harder on the um, fancy dress than the other. Guess which one it is. <laughs> Are you ready to be transported to the 80s? <laughs> Join us. Three, two, one. Ta -da! Gosh, it's like we've time traveled. Ooh, it's a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one of us has made more of an effort than t'other. God's sake. <laughs> anyway, we are going to go to this 80s themed party now. We'll show you some bits, but because this is a friend's party, we're gonna... Just enjoy ourselves. Just enjoy ourselves. We don't want anyone on camera that doesn't want to be on camera. We're very demure. Very mindful. Very mindful, very respectful. Gosh. 
But we'll show you some bits. Yes. Um, and then we'll see you later. We will. We're going to be taking you for dinner later <gasps> to are. Test Kitchen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but we're going to go and have fun. Bye. Bye. Hello again. <laughs> we are back from Shelley's 80s party. Mm -hmm. Fantastic time. It was a good time. We, well, got sidetracked on the way back and we did some karaoke. David I didn't. Sang. I never sing. <laughs> David sang some songs. There were, I sang requests. <laughs> David is. I did Erasure and Aha. Uh because -huh. it was 80s themed. Because it was 80s themed. Yes. Yeah. And then Shelley requested me to do from now on from Greatest Showman. Oh. So I had to I had to do what the fans had asked for. <laughs> if you can't tell, we've had some drink. I feel okay. I don't think you look okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. We're gonna go for dinner now. We're gonna bring you along because we're going to go to Test Kitchen. So we, this is our fourth version voyage. Yes. We've done menu... So Test Kitchen has different menus. We've done in menu A uh, and B. Uh. <laughs> menu A and B. <laughs> but now we're going to go and we're going to do menu C. <laughs> Cur Curly Cur. Curly menu C. <laughs> menu C. Yeah. Yeah, Dave is worried though because the first course is eel. <laughs> but I think we just need to trust it. We will. We'll trust it. And one thing we love about Test Kitchen is, yes, it is probably a little bit more out there in terms mm. of dining, but they are very accommodating. So if there's something on the vegetarian menu that you prefer to the meat menu, you can just swap and change. Swip, swip, swap. Swip, swap. <laughs> swip, swap. Yes. So we're going to go in swip, swap in <laughs> Test Kitchen right now. So. <laughs> Come with us. So one thing, because it's only a couple of floors down for, for us, because we're staying on deck nine, we're walking down and walking off some of the calories. Some of the Moet calories. That is a top tip. Yes, because Test Kitchen's on, what, six? Yes, it's by the shops. Oh, so we've actually got quite a few floors. Well, I don't know, we're already on deck seven. <laughs> this is how things work when you go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> that is how numerical values work. <laughs> Follow the person in the lab coat, they're going to test kitchen. <laughs> to give Menu C its full shot, we decided to try the vegetarian options alongside the non-vegetarian menu. And first up was the eel with aubergine or eggplant alternative. Mm. I would nice if it's cold. Is it cold? I wasn't expecting it to be cold. Thank you.
Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> and to finish, they gave us a celebration cake for our first wedding anniversary, and it was yummy. Hello there. Hi. We are on our way back to our cabin after eating at the test kitchen. Test kitchen. Trying menu C. Great. I think, oh, we are such the wrong end of the ship. Um, this way. No, David, that's our room there. Oh, yeah, it is. We're exactly the right place. <laughs> we're back. We're back in the room. Yes, we're back in the room. Full bellied. Are we full bellied? Oh, I feel perfectly comfortable. I don't feel overly full. Yeah. But we've tried. Menu C. Menu C. Overwhelming mm. thoughts. Mm. Overarching mm. summary. I have an. My overarching thought is. Mm. Mm. I. So I would say. I liked menu A, which is mm. the one with the mushroom and the smoky egg. I would say I loved menu B, which is. Lamb. Oh, um, gosh. And the rhubarb. Seafood bee. pasta. Was it a rhubarb? I think that had rhubarb. Oh. No, I don't know. No, that was strawberry. And then it had strawberry with um, wasabi. Oh, yeah, that was so good. Yeah, so liked menu A, loved menu B. Would leave menu C. Honest, honest review. It had some, it did have some good points. I looked, so the watermelon. The I loved that. Yes. The rest of it, I honest, honestly, because we like to be honest with you, I would not go back to menu C. Well, I quite like the chicken. I quite like the chicken course. Mm, yeah. I think the watermelon course is quite similar to the strawberry course on menu B, in that the strawberry course on menu B is strawberry with wasabi, so it's like sweet yeah, with it's heat. Yeah. And then the watermelon is watermelon with a jalapeno yogurt. yogurt. So it's similar vibes, I would say. Yes. But I, I, I would still recommend Test Kitchen for menu A and B. I wouldn't go back for menu C, personally. Per, I think we're the same. Person. I think we're on the same. Yeah, and that makes me sad because we, we are all big advocates, for test kitchen. But I think they're just in the spirit of test kitchen, and you take the first word, the cheese course, for example, is very blue cheesy, very. which I didn't enjoy. You yeah. didn't enjoy, and we saw a few, quite a few of those going back to the kitchen with not a lot of it eaten. Mm. So they might change. They might change that up. I think mm. they're just testing it, and I think that's what you need to do. You just try new things, mm. see how people react. As long as they take it on board and change stuff based Which on they people's have done, feedback. Because when we the, when we first did menu A, the sort the blue cheese sorbet course, yeah, was huge for the first time we did it, and we've subsequently done it again and the portion size of that particular course is probably a third. They cut it right back. Um, which, on the basis of it, you might think, ooh, cost cutting, but actually there was just too much to start with. There was, know? yeah. And it was just so, on one of the courses tonight was the yuzu course. It was too much. Way too much food. Well, not that I think anyone from Virgin Voyagers will be watching this, but if you are, I think for the yuzu course, it's like a ring of pastry with cream and yuzu and stuff, and then another ring of pastry, I think if you take the void in the middle of that ring, mm. you could make the dessert that size and have it as a disc. Like, much like once when Polo's once released a pack <laughs> of the inners. <laughs> that... <laughs> anyway, that is our thoughts. That's if you if you try menu C, let us know what you think because I'll be interested to see what other people's thoughts are. My 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 one point will be the I feel like public opinion of Test Kitchen. There, there seems to be a, an overarching theme of mm. they don't particularly like Test Kitchen. They don't like the experimental the experimental pushing the boundaries. And some people, that's fine. Some people don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think when you see is going to help that. I think that it's almost pushing it even more. Yeah, I would agree. That's my only point. Are we moving? No. We are. We're moving. 
Why are we moving? We we're moving births. No, are the lights moving? No, we're moving. We are now off to... What time are we on? We're on Ooh, 20 past 8. Oh, it's nearly karaoke time. It's nearly karaoke day. time. <laughs> After a few more drinks, we headed to On The Rocks, where there was a fantastic guitarist playing. It was such a nice, chilled way to finish the day. And of course, we couldn't go to bed without our second pizza of the voyage, which was thankfully back to normal fantastic standards. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Come on, do it seriously. Join us for part three, where we'll take you for more adventures around Resilient Lady. Amongst other things, we'll take you to Gumbay, the Korean barbecue, and we'll let you tag along with us on everyone's favourite night on a virgin voyage. It's Scarlet Night! Will we jump fully clothed into the pool? You'll have to watch to find out. Thank you so much for following along with our adventures. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing and sharing us with your friends. Until next time, bye!